back to work again. Not every day can be a road trip fun, happy day because I gotta put food on the table and pay rent. Uh, I am, again, I'm not late, but I'm later than I normally am, so be a real quick one just kind of so I can have an intro for the video or whatever. But I gotta get going into work. Uh, it's probably gonna be a busy day, it's Saturday. And based on the parking lot, there are a lot of people here, so off I go. I will see you guys later. All right, I'm gonna stop at Ivy here to pick up a few things. Got to do some uh, keto or whatever food prep tomorrow, so I just needed a couple things. Thought I'd take you around the store here. I kind of like the produce section at Ivy here. They have these this section over here. I just I just really like having those pre-cut vegetables available. I don't buy them that often, but if you're in a pinch, and then pre-cut fruits and lots of salad mixes. I'm trying to find something specifically over here, but I never know where it's at. I'm going to look over here. I also need, let's see if they've got any today. Let's see some deli stuff. Here we go. Uh, they sell these uh, bacon bits. They make their own like deli bacon bits. So they have them here. Let's grab the $5 one. Okay. Bacon bits. We got some other stuff. Nothing else that I really need that I'm seeing. I still can't find what I'm looking for. And the juices and just and salad. I'm trying to find um, like the packaged veggies, but not carrots. I usually just buy the carrots, but I'm gonna keep looking. Let me see. All right, I'm gonna look over somewhere else. Aha! Here we go. Cauliflower crumbles, so I can make my. Uh, Bacon cauliflower side dish. Okay, guys, these zucchini are gigantic. I mean, look at them, they're just huge. What is Oreo even doing? In case you were curious, here's a quick update on the rock painting as it's going. I declared this one done. I think I need to get a different sealer. The Mod Podge is good, but it when I write with the marker, uh, well, the paint marker, it actually smears it, and then it's got, I had to repaint some of it. So I need to go out and find different acrylic sealant. And I really like the paint that I got at Walmart better than the paint that came in the kit. I did matte paint, though, so I think if I buy more, I'll probably buy some glossy. Or I'll, I think if I just use a glossy sealer, it'll take care of it. Because, like, this one was painted, and then I did the rock marker. I might do a little bit more on this one, I'm not sure. This was just sort of a quick one. I think that's pretty much done. This one I'm gonna finish painting red, probably do that tomorrow. And it's this is gonna be a Husker one for football. This is going to become Frankenstein's monster. Uh, once I get figure out how I want to do the details, may just do that with the again the uh, paint markers. I might get a few more paint markers. This I'm still not 100 percent sure. I might just do like a ghost or something. That I really like that white paint that I got. And then this I'm not 100% sure. I was just messing around. But I kind of like the colors. I think I might just paint like a daisy on the front and call it good. So my only other issue is I need to try to figure out where to get rocks. Because I don't really want to just pick up rocks off the ground. I mean if I, if I didn't really care there's a whole bunch of rocks right outside by my porch but they kind of belong to someone else so I'd be stealing to take those. So if you have any good ideas where to get rocks uh, let me know. I might just head up I think Michael's had a few different kind of rocks you could buy, and I've seen some on Amazon. But I might just check a place like Lowe's or Home Depot, see if they sell any too. I would like some bigger ones, like bigger flat ones like this, to work with. And I need to look up some ideas online so I can come up with different things to paint. And uh, let's pan down here so you can get your daily dose of Cooper. Hi! Oh, you do want to say hi. There he is. Okay, he's gone. Not really a lot left to talk about for this evening. I ended up working almost an hour of overtime today. And so after that I stopped at the store. And by the time I got home it was already like 11. And I gotta get this, you know, when you get home then and you have to edit and get everything ready to get it uploaded. To still count for the day? It doesn't matter. I'm counting this for today regardless of when the actual upload finishes. Still. You know, it was a pretty basic day, but I'm trying to at least incorporate some stuff into my videos. Uh, I hope 
hope you're finding it interesting. I'm still trying to figure out how to get uh, more followers and how to get, you know, how to reach out, how to optimize my videos, how to talk about things people want to watch, how to be interesting, try to be funny. There's a lot of things to try to do that, I, you know, if you're not really talented at it, it's even harder. I don't know. It's like having a weird conversation with somebody that you're not even in the same room with. So, I don't know. Uh, tomorrow's my day off again, which will be nice. It's sort of how it works. Sometimes I get a lot of days in a row and then I have a day off and then a lot of days in a day off. Or then what ends up happening is I'll have a couple days off, then I'll work, then I'll have a day off, then I'll work and have another day off, which is how, what's happening this week. So I'm actually okay with that. That gives me a little bit of time to catch up on things. Tomorrow I'm probably not going to do anything super exciting. We may or may not go to the library. I might wait till Tuesday to do that and maybe just take a lazy day. I've been really wanting to take a day to clean and then maybe watch some movies. Meal prep for tomorrow though. I've got stuff that I picked up in the last couple days that I need to cook and I need to really figure out and focus on what I'm doing on my diet. I like the keto. I just don't know that I want to stay strict keto anymore. I'm thinking about going back to more of a whole foods eating. Essentially what I'm probably going to be doing is still mostly keto foods, but adding a few non-keto things like grapes and other fruits because I kind of miss having the occasional fruit and I kind of miss oatmeal. So I may debate incorporating some morning oats because I really do like miss peanut butter oatmeal. Um, back when I last time I lost a lot of weight, I had oatmeal every day with fruit in it and I still lost weight. The problem is when it comes to doing that is you really have to measure and count calories and things like that. And I just do not want to spend my life counting calories. I've had this, I did it for a long time. I lost like 130 pounds, but it broke me. I couldn't count calories my whole life. I couldn't do it anymore. And other reasons came up, but the main thing is it was just, it was just really hard to stick to after a while. And that's not going to work long term. So I am going to work on that for tomorrow. Maybe I'll come up with a better plan. I want to stay pretty much into what I was doing because I know it was working, but it's not working perfectly. And I, and I know nothing's going to ever be perfect, but I've looked at what other people eat and then have lost a lot of weight. And I realized that I maybe I'm making it more complicated than it really is, but we'll see. I may go back to just doing keto. It was, like I said, it's super easy. The problem is, is it's very unforgiving if you have, you know, slip ups here and there, which is why like Whole Foods is a lot more, it, it felt like to me, like it was a little more forgiving. Like you could occasionally have a soda with real sugar in it or things like that and not worry about knocking yourself out of some sort of state. And I think maybe going in and out and in and out like that is maybe not healthy either. We'll see. The, ultimately, the goal is to get healthy and lose weight so that I can start doing activities that I can't currently do. Things like rock climbing, well, wall climbing, rock climbing, uh, hiking, biking. These are all things that I really enjoyed doing that I haven't been able to do in a while just because of my weight. So bear with me. Probably going to start turning this more towards like a weight loss update focus in some of these videos because I need the accountability, but we'll see. Like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna to spend some time just kind of regrouping, getting a plan into place, uh, and then maybe hopefully doing something with that pumpkin. I'd like to decorate it, but I was trying to find a decorating kit and I didn't like the ones I saw at Walmart and I couldn't find any at the other store I went to today. I don't know, I might have to go back to Michael's or check another, I have a couple other stores, I should probably go check out the Halloween store itself and film there. I might do that on Tuesday just to see. Because actually in a lot of places the Halloween stuff's getting pushed out already because they're getting ready for Christmas. So and I have nothing against that. I love Christmas, so I love seeing that. Although I really love Thanksgiving and there's never really anything about it. I'm already toying in my mind what I want to do for November as far as a theming thing because I think it does help. It helps to have something to motivate me to make the videos. But at this point now, I need to stop rambling so that I can edit and get this thing uploaded. Uh, so with that, as always, peace 
and good night everybody.